Pharisees were coming up against him and he, he stood firm. He said, y'all ain't going to get me to change my story. My story is I was born blind. I was born blind. But a man called Jesus came by and, 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 and put a poultice on my eyes and now I am seen. Now whatever you want to do, whatever you want to say, I will continue to say that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Step into being a young grown person. To allow the teachings of Jesus Christ to be the place where you get your information about reality. If you're going to keep it real, keep it real in light of the word of God. God says in his word that I am above. My thoughts are above your thoughts. My ways are beyond your ways. This is what God says. God says, I am not only imminently with you, but let's keep it real. I am transcendently beyond you. Babylon with Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Now, Nebuchadnezzar was a bad dude, and he was nobody to play with. And when he put an image in Babylon, in the plain of Dura, everybody had to bow. But oh, not only bow out of their uh, uh, out of their will, but bow out of fear. But there was three little Hebrew dudes who stood up in the plain and said, Oh, king, we are not careful to answer you concerning this matter. Let me tell you something. When you know God like that, let the trouble come. Let the trials rise. And let the heat come on. Because I'll have the victory to stand in any situation and declare that my God will make a way out of no way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
style music for the bird and you hear the voices, you hear the testimony, you hear the names of those that had to be questioned in prayer for the So we see here. So before the throne of grace is lay everything out for him. So when he's ready, he's gonna answer that prayer. Father oh God, this is the day that you have made. Let us all rejoice and be glad. Thank you for bringing us together one more time, Lord God, to just say the praise. We thank you for your love and your goodness, the benefits you provide for us, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for your only begotten Son, our Lord, and Savior Jesus Christ, who made a way for each of us. Who bore our sins. He didn't have to, but he did. He loved us so dearly. Lord God, because uh, your son lives, we can live and fetch him off. We fetch his day as well. We pray, Lord God, you have to keep our hearts and our minds focused on you and the things of love. You hear the praises of your people, my Father, you hear the testimony. You know what's in our hearts and our minds. And uh, before all, Lord God, before we thought of the thoughts you, you know what they were going to say. Thank you, Lord God. Tender the mercies of your love and kind. Thank you for your faithfulness, the first and new each and every day. All you've done for the Lord God, we are deeply dead. Each one of the Lord God, uh, we fall with the place. Our first of Lord God, we can have good faith. The Lord God, we pray that you help us to stay focused on you, that the uh, Lord God in our ways, we can have not come weary. In fact, not for a new season, we will reap, Lord God, and we thank you. Mm-hmm. For the benefits of your words, Lord God, we understand that we cannot without you. We come, oh Lord God, we come uh, opening this morning, Lord God, to say thank you for all the goodness that you've done for us. And the healing power, if I ask a prayer, you hear them say, Lord God, a prayer work miracles, it worked wonders. And we thank you, Lord God, that you're still in the business of healing. And you are still the great physician. You heal, Lord God, and you provide for those, Lord God, that sometimes we think, Lord God, it's so nice to put him, but Lord God, we know that those who are redeemed with the precious blood of the Lord say to Jesus Christ, Lord God, hear the children in Christ and in the call of your Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for this day. Thank you for the fellowship, thank you for the people that are here, thank you for the song, thank you for the scripture. Thank you for allowing us to live to see just another day. You hear the say, Lord God, we take that for granted. We do not take anything for granted, Lord God, because it's not guaranteed this day that you gave to us, but you did. And we thank you, Lord God, you allowed us to come once again. We love you. We praise you. We ask you to give us of all our sins. Give us a clean heart. We like to be mind to be obedient to your word. We ask you to bless in Jesus' name. We thank you in the church. Amen. 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 Thank you. 
I'm struggling here, Reverend. <coughs> I can't hear myself. Got something going on in my eardrums this morning. Oh. But this too will pass. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> welcome. 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 Yeah. I see my friend, Brother Ralph and Sister Louise over here. Yeah. Welcome home. Yes, sir. Brother Ralph and his family were here several years ago as part of this fellowship. Yeah. Amen. The Lord has since moved him to a different place mm -hmm. in a different direction. Mm. And every time he has the opportunity to come by, he usually stops by to say hello. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. In uh, your bulletins, you have what we refer to as the announcements. Uh, the ladies' corner, or the women's uh, corner, is there. Uh, Y'all just having another church, <laughs> from what I heard. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, the evening Bible study group meets by Zoom still. The uh, Wednesday morning Bible study group meets in person. Uh, we just want to remind you about the aluminum tabs. Uh, summer is coming up. Um, as you open your drinks, pop the aluminum tabs, throw them in a, in a container somewhere, and uh, eventually bring them to this place. We collect them and take them to the Ronald McDonald uh, house where they serve a very uh, significant uh, purpose. Uh, the Right Now Media uh, is uh, a gift that we give to you. Uh, you can access it uh, online. Uh, there are devotional, there are worship, there are Bible study. There's a lot of uh, resources there for your spiritual growth. I hope you will take advantage of it. And uh, if you have not in a while and want to go back and uh, forgot your password and all that good stuff, uh, just call the office and we'll try to help you to navigate through again. Um, let me see. Um, uh, there's a trustee meeting coming up on June the, uh, on May the 9th. Uh, you may want to write that on your calendar, trustees. Uh, don't forget the meeting. Don't forget the meeting. Don't forget the meeting. Okay? Uh, an announcement, a uh, couple of announcements that's not in the bulletin that I need to address. Uh, number one, I understand that there has been some concern and question about what's going on uh, around the facility, particularly in the parking lot. Now, if you remember, uh, prior to the pandemic, uh, we have agreed to replace the a flooring in the fellowship hall because of a number of uh, uh, because of a number of uh, issues we've been having with the carpet. Praise the Lord, that is done. Amen. Uh, and the uh, yeah, you can clap. You can clap. Uh, the, the the flooring in the office suite uh, has been. Hmm, uh, older than I can remember, uh, and that has been replaced. Amen. Now, that is, praise the Lord, that is on us, all right? Now about the parking lot. Uh, if you remember, there's been a lot of discussion about trying to replace this parking lot. Um, last uh, estimates we had to replace it was anywhere from 80,000 to one hundred and thirty-five thousand mm. dollars, uh, and uh, those who uh, were responsible uh, thought that that was too much uh, at this time. That uh, hopefully it will go down. Now, if you remember, I explained all of the construction in the back uh, is an easement that the uh, I guess uh, Mount Holly Municipal Sewer Development. Uh, had to have in order to connect to a manhole somewhere down in the back. Um, the people who worked on it um, were 
very gracious people. Um, they disturb a little bit more uh, than they should have. And the gentleman who, uh, I guess, supervises and managed that project uh, came to me and he said, Pastor, I know you've been struggling with this parking lot. Uh, what, we're going to, what we're going to do, that's what he said, what we're going to do is we are going to try to uh, seal all of the cracks for you. Um, and that will, that will give you some time to work on the, uh, so, um, and it's nothing that, that we're managing. Mm -hmm. uh, and they've shown up at some inconvenient time. Mm -hmm. uh, Reverend, Wednesday night we were here for worship. And, and all of a sudden, this man shows up and begins to put all of this tar um, oh. down in them holes. Um, but, but I just want you to know that that is not expenditure of any of our resources. Mm. Um, all that's being done with regard to the parking lot uh, is coming out of somebody else's pocket. <laughs> I don't know whose pocket. <laughs> <laughs> if it fixes it, praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes. That's right. God is good all of the time. Yes, uh, yes. These are the announcements that I am aware of. Uh, now we're going to worship the Lord by bringing His tithes and our offerings into His storehouse. For those of you who are worshiping with us uh, via the YouTube, uh, we continue to remind you we're glad to have you as partners here in the worship experience. If you like uh, what you see, if you're being blessed by our ministry, would like to be a part of, uh, of uh, this ministry uh, through the financial stewardship, I encourage you to do that. You can either do that by writing a check to the Southside Baptist Church and sending it to PO Box 680 Lumberton, New Jersey, or go to our website and it will instruct you as to how you can give uh, electronically. We promise you, we promise you this, that we will be as good stewards of the resources that you send our way as we possibly can. Uh, we are we're very diligent uh, in, being, in trying to be uh, good stewards of the resources. Let's pray together. Uh, Brother George McClellan, would you voice our prayer for, to God today? Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you, dear Lord, blessed us, dear Lord, in so many ways, dear Lord, that you continue to provide for us in ways, dear Lord, that sometimes we just don't understand, Heavenly Father, but we just thank you, dear Lord. Yes. Lord, we thank you, dear Lord, that we have an opportunity just to give back a portion of what you have provided for us, Heavenly Father, for your kingdom. We pray, dear Lord, as we pray, as we give, make this gift, dear Lord, that it will just raise your kingdom, dear Lord, and bless those who are in need of blessing.
standing on the promises. Let's stand up this thing together. <clears throat> sing the last time Ah, uh, don't be a, don't be bashful. We're and getting I, raptured. All right. We're getting raptured for the week. All right. Anybody else? And I will never leave you or forsake you. All right. He says he has plans to prosper me. All right. He will Anybody else? Be with me, never leave me or forsake me. All right. Must be believe. All right. Anybody else? God said he would make everything that was old new again. Yes. Amen. Amen. God has the healing power. Amen. 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 Just trust and faith. All right. He's always with me. Okay. He would I'm, saying, saying, I'm trying here. I can hardly hear myself, but I'm hearing you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All right, Reverend. All right. Standing on the promises, I cannot fall. Listening every moment to the Spirit's call. Let's sing it together. Oh, God. 
Thank you. congregation are singing, <laughs> particularly to do what you just did. <laughs> and you know the rest of the story. 
There's old folks every which of my way. Yeah, every which of my way. Praise the Lord. You brought your Bibles, and I trust you did. <clears throat> Let me encourage you to open them to the book of Acts, All right. chapter 1. Mm. Acts, chapter 1. I want to read the first eight verses uh, of Acts, chapter 1. And if you're with me, uh, here's how it reads. It says, the former account I made, mm. O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day in which he was taken up after he, through the, uh, the Holy Spirit, had given commandment to the apostles, the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many infallible proofs, uh, being seen by them during 40 days and speaking uh, of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Mm. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you have heard from me. Uh, for John baptized you with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. Therefore, when they had come together, uh, they asked him, saying, Lord, uh, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time nor the season, which the Father has put in his own authority. Mm -hmm. But you shall receive power oh. uh, when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. You shall be my witnesses uh, in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I want to focus on verse 8 this yeah. morning, yeah. where it says, You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Yeah. So many times, our believers try to do things in their own strength yeah. and in their own power. Uh -huh. uh, Acts chapter 1, apparently, would indicate to us, what's this, that even after the resurrection, the apostles still did not get what Jesus was all about. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. It just did, didn't get it. No. Um, yesterday evening we were watching some television, and uh, there was I, I, I think a commercial, and. Somebody said something which was supposed to be a joke, mm. Reverend. Mm. And everybody started to laugh. And I turned to my wife and I said, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I just don't get it. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you just don't get stuff. Yeah. And Jesus had been with his apostles for three years. Yeah. You know, preaching the same sermon. <laughs> day after day. Mm -hmm. And they just did not get it. Uh, it is interesting that Jesus often identified himself at a meal with his apostles. Yeah. I, 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 I looked it up and, and there were at least 13 what we refer to as physical appearance of Jesus after the resurrection. Mm -hmm. and, and every time he showed up, they did not recognize him mm -hmm. until he spoke until he prayed. According to uh, verses uh, uh, 1, 2, and 3, uh, it says, uh, he presented himself, uh, verse 3 said, uh, he, he, he presented himself uh, after his suffering, that was after the resurrection, uh, in many infallible Proofs. Mm. In, in, in other words, in, in other words, there was no doubt yeah. as to whether that was him mm. 
Yeah. Uh, who came up from the grave. That's right. Uh, that's, that's the way he presented it. Um, he, he said, uh, during these 40 days. Um, now, uh, he said, now, they were assembled together, uh, uh, and in verse 4, uh, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father. Yeah. Which you have heard from me. Mm -hmm. All right, watch this now. Go back to uh, John chapter 14. Beginning at verse 15, here's what he says. Now, this is Jesus speaking out. He said, if you love me, go ahead and keep my commandments. He says, now, let, let me, can I paraphrase it for you? Can I paraphrase it for you so we can understand what he's saying? He said, I, I, I am going to ask my daddy. And, and he will send you another Helper, helper, uh, that he, that helper, may abide with you forever. Yeah. Now, now, see, Jesus knew that his stay with them was temporary. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, 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 but he said, I, I, I'm not going to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. now, 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 he says, he says now, uh, 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 the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because uh, it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. Uh, I, I, I won't leave you as orphans, he says. Mm -hmm. I, I will come to you again. Now that's, that's very interesting. The way that prayer went. Now let me see. Uh, now go back uh, to Acts chapter 1. He says uh, the promise of the Father. Yeah. Now, now, now what, what Jesus is saying is the Father is making the promise to you. Yeah. That he would send the Holy Spirit. I, I, I'm just declaring it mm -hmm. so that you will understand it. Uh, now he, he, he goes on. Uh, 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 I, I, I got to do this. I got to do this, Reverend. Listen to what he said to them. He said, stay in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had an experience uh, where you were out with somebody and it necessitated you're going someplace for something? that you did not want them to go with you. Let, let's just assume you were buying a gift for them and you did not want them to go with you. And, and you said to them, stay right here. I will be back. You went and did your thing and you came back. There's no person <laughs> that you left there. Did not I tell you to wait? Now, I, I don't know about Jesus and the apostles, mm -hmm. how, much they, uh, how much they were obedient to him in other things. Mm -hmm. But I know this one, they were. Mm -hmm. not, not, now, granted, we're not told why, uh, but we're suspecting why. Mm -hmm. uh, they were scared to death. Yeah. In other words, they said they killed the guy who was the pastor. Ah, if they find out I'm, I'm a member of that church, they're going to get me too. So, so, so in other words, let, let, let's hunker down in a place where they cannot find us. He, 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 he goes on, he says, uh, For truly, uh, uh, John baptized you with water, but you will be baptized by the Holy Spirit not many days hence. And that's going to be a message for another time. Uh, uh, but they came together, and, and, and I want you to look at the question in verse 6. The question is, Lord, uh, they recognize him, all right? They knew it was Jesus. They said, Lord, uh, will you at this time restore 
the kingdom of Israel. Mm -hmm. did, did, did I say to you they didn't get it? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. See, they were looking for a king riding on a white stallion, mm -hmm. uh, uh, defeating all of the armies around them and making Israel the strong nation at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, they were looking at it physically. Uh, all they could see was one who could fight for them. Uh, yes, Jesus fought for them in a way that they did not understand uh, on this side of eternity. But, 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 but they said, will you at this time, listen, they did not say, will you at this time restore the kingdom of heaven? Mm -hmm. They said, will you restore the kingdom of Israel? Right. And there is a difference. There is a difference. Is a difference. All right? But now, look how Jesus respond to it. Uh, he, he, he said, uh, he said, uh, it is not for you to know uh, the times or the season which the Father had put in his, uh, in his authority. Uh, the, the, the apostles were always concerned about the physical things. Uh, uh, they wanted to know who would say that is right and who would say that is left. Uh, uh, they wanted to know when he was coming. Uh, they wanted to know when he was going to set up his... They needed to know all of this, uh, 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 of this earthly thing. But Jesus said to them, uh, But you shall receive power. Mm. <coughs> now, just a disclaimer. I, I, I'm going to go there anyhow. <laughs> if, if anything should happen to me, and an investigation takes place, <laughs> and I go to my computer, <laughs> I, I, I just want you to know that I try to find out some things yes, about dynamite. All right. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting ready to do nothing crazy. <laughs> I, I, I just wanted some information. Just some information. Just some information. <laughs> I, 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 the, the computer was not helpful. It was helpful, but not helpful. <laughs> I, and what I'm saying is, it, 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 it produced the information in terms of uh, mass and size, mm. uh, about which I'm, I, I'm no good. <laughs> but, 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 but one of the things that I learned I, I asked them, what, what is a stick of dynamite? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and they told me a stick of dy dynamite is, is usually uh, about six inches long mm -hmm. and one inch wide, round. And he said it can cause a whole lot of damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, listen, that is the very word that Jesus used yeah, yeah. when he talked about power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, let me ask you a question. How would you like to have uh, all of the power that, 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 that you want to do what you want, when you want, and how you want? Oh, no. So, some of us could not handle that. Mm. But I want you to know that, 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 that what Jesus said is this, that uh, when you wait, not many days hence, all of the resources of heaven mm. will be opened unto you. Yeah. So that as a believer, you can do <coughs> all that God intends for you to do right. and to be. Yes, sir. Is that what you said? Yes, sir. So, he said, you shall receive power mm. after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Now, you and I know <coughs> Uh, what uh, what happened next? Mm. Uh, the people uh, were in one place. There are one accord, uh, waiting as Jesus had told them. Uh, and the Word of God says that the Holy Spirit came down upon them uh, like cloven tongues. Now, Jesus made two promises here. Number one, He said. Uh, the first promise is that you will get power. Yeah. Uh, the second power, the second promise is that you will be witnesses. Yeah. Uh, and we'll talk about that uh, another time. 
But for today, let's talk about, let's, let's, let's just talk about the power for a few minutes. Uh, why do the apostles need this power? Mm -hmm. Did you know that God knows more about you than you know about yourself? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Did you know that God knows when you're going to mess up? Did you know that God knows when you're going to do right? Yeah. Did you know that God knows when you're going to be obedient? Yeah. Did you know what, that God knows when you are going to be <coughs> disobedient? Yeah. So, the, 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 the points are two this morning. Not three, just two. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, we need this power to break the stronghold of sin on our lives. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. In case uh, you have not learned how to parse English a sentence uh, in, in, in high school, uh, I, I could phrase it another way. I could phrase it to, 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 to break the stronghold of power in your life. But I want to say to break the stronghold of power on your life. Uh, because... If I say in your life, that means I am accusing you of harboring sin in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I'm not doing that. The scripture is not doing that. The scripture is not accusing you. It, it, it is simply saying that the world in which we live is a sinful world. Mm -hmm. There is a battle for your soul every day that you get up. Mm -hmm. When you got up this morning, mm -hmm. the adversary was working on you, whether you knew it or not. Yeah. Uh, uh, and the Spirit of God was working on you. Yeah. Uh, shall I get up? Shall I get myself dressed? Yeah. Shall I go and worship with my fellow believers? Yeah. Or shall I lay down here and do what my uh, natural spirit yeah. is inclining me to do? Yeah. There's a battle that's going on for your soul. Yeah. And, 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 and that is the reality of life. There's a stronghold of sin on lives everywhere. Yeah. Now, now, the scripture gives us some illustration of, 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 of the way that this stronghold uh, executed itself in the life of the believers. Now, now uh, for us, it is practically the same thing. We got a battle every day. For Peter, it was selfishness. Not now. Why do I I, I? I thought about it for a while. You remember what Peter said to Jesus? Mm -hmm. Jesus said to them, he said, you know, there, there's a time coming that, 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 that you're all going to be betraying me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I love Peter. He was so impulsive. He stood up and said, Lord, you know, if all of these folk do it, mm -hmm. you can count on me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can count on me. I ain't never going to betray you. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a man. It wasn't an idol. Yeah. It was a little girl. Yeah. I came to him, and Peter was sitting down by the fireplace, getting himself warm. Yeah. Uh, he, he, was, uh, 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 he was nosy enough to want to know what was going on, mm -hmm. but not bold enough to stand in the fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and she came to him and she said, aren't you, aren't you one of his followers? Yeah. <laughs> he said, no, 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 not, not me. Yes, she yes. said, I don't even know the man. <laughs> My dear mother, when she was alive, she had a favorite statement. Self-preservation is the first law of nature. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah. And, and Brother Peter, he was so selfish. He said, he said, I love you, Jesus. But not that much. I love myself a whole lot more. Yes. I, I, I want to preserve me. It's, it, it's, it's all about me. He said, now, 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 I don't even know him. Selfishness. Mm -hmm. Let me stop preaching and start making by simply asking one question. If God today were to talk on your shoulder, 
and say, I need you to go here, or I need you to do this, what would be your response? What would be your response? Would it, would, would it be like Isaiah in the temple? Here I am, Lord, just send me. Yeah. Or, or, or he said, not, not, now you know, Lord, uh, over there in that mission field, there ain't no indoor plumbing. I'm not an outdoors person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Lord, I, I, I hear you, but you know, there, there's no air condition over there. <laughs> and I understand there's a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and both of them, you know, I'm a friend of the air conditioning. Yeah. And I despise the mosquitoes. <laughs> and so w would you look for somebody else? Somebody else. Uh, you, you, you with me? Somebody else. Selfishness. <laughs> right in our back door. I'm disposing of some old magazines I've kept for years. Mm. And the statistics about the people who are homeless. God taps on your shoulder and said, I need you to go down there and, and minister to them. Lord, you know, I'd like to. Mm -hmm. But, 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 you know, they, they don't smell right. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't dress right. Mm -hmm. Their health is not the best. Mm -hmm. Lord, it would inconvenience me. Mm -hmm. Get somebody else. Mm -hmm. Selfishness. For Thomas, it was doubt. Mm -hmm. The devil, as long as he could keep Thomas believing that Jesus did not raise from the dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was victorious. Let me put it another way. As long as the devil can keep you believing that God cannot do mm -hmm. what you need done in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Yeah. For the rest of the apostles, it was fear. Mm. <laughs> they were all hunkered down. Yeah. Uh, we believe upstairs, Reverend, in the upper room, mm -hmm. praying to God. And it, 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 it would be nice to be a fly on the wall, as somebody said, to hear their prayer. Yeah. How selfish it was. Out of fear, Lord, deliver us. Mm. Ah, uh, listen, but, 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 but the, the, the reality of life was this, that Jesus knew every situation of every life that he left behind to do his work. Yeah. And he knew that they could not, uh, before they could do anything, they needed the power. Yeah. Yeah. Now, have you ever been in a situation where you were struggling with something? And, 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 and you just just couldn't. There's no way I can do this. Mm -hmm. Let me illustrate it for you. Back in 1968, I was in Nassau in the Bahamas. <clears throat> and uh, one of the missionaries used to fly uh, one of these small planes from island to island. And this particular weekend, he was taking his whole family and um, asked me if I, would, if I would watch the house, keep an eye on the house for him. So I went in periodically to feed the dog and to, to, to make sure that everything's in place. But one of the sons decided to come home early, <clears throat> okay? And he knew that I would be coming over, so he decided he wanted to play a trick on me. Okay? So he hid in one of the closets. And when I was in the house doing my thing, all of a sudden he came out and did his thing. And his thing nearly cost him. Because I did what I, I, I did have no idea that I could do. 
I picked up a whole sofa. <laughs> I was ready to knock him down. With it. But, 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 it, 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 it was, it, it was just a, it was a good feeling to know that I could do that. <laughs> Are you with me? Uh, li listen, uh, we live in a world that's spiritual. Mm -hmm. We are not tapping into half of the resources mm -hmm. that God through the Holy Spirit makes available yeah. to us. Yeah, right. And this is why uh, we are crawling around like beggars. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Uh -huh. uh, uh, point number two simply says we need this power to enable us to be all who God created us to be. Yeah. Uh, too many church members going around whining and crying that we can't do this or we can't go there or we cannot be this. Listen, you can, but God can. And God is saying to us this morning that he wants to release all of the resources of heaven. It's called power. I, I, I don't know about one stick of dynamite, but, 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 but what the scripture is saying is that God is able to, re to, to release all of the powers that can be uh, harnessed on earth yeah. and then some spiritually giving to us so that we can be all that God has created us to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. God will never ask you, me, or anybody else to go someplace to do something that he is not able yeah. to provide yeah. the necessary resources, yeah. the strength, and the power yeah. to get the job done. Yeah. And, and, and I am challenging this congregation to move out continually on faith in God. Yeah. If God lays it upon your heart, guess what? God is able to provide the resources. Yeah. If, if God leads you in that direction, God is able to protect you. Yeah. Uh, if, 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 if God sends you someplace, guess what? God is able to move out all of the enemy that is around you. But remember this, God will not give up until his mission is accomplished. Amen. Now, I, I, I'm going to say this. It's not an indictment. It's a blessing. Because I serve a congregation who respond to the call of God when God reaches out. Amen. But listen, for the folk who are listening to me this morning, God has a mission. And his mission is redemption. He said, you shall be witnesses unto me. Watch this now. If we don't do it, you know what? God's going to find somebody else. Amen. Yeah. And then guess what? You and I will miss the blessing. That's right. Man. That's right. <laughs> that God has in store for you. Yes, sir. Listen, so many times I miss opportunities. And then go back and say, if I had known. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God don't want you to, if I had known. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God wants you to trust him. Yeah. Yeah. But it begins by, number one, obedience, mm -hmm. and number two, faith. Yeah. Watch this now. Talk about the stay in Jerusalem. You know, some of us get in a hurry sometimes to do our thing, and they want God to put a blessing on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes we just need to stop and wait yeah. and pray. Mm -hmm. Listen to God. Hear his voice speaking to our voice so that we can be in his will. Remember what Jesus said? The promise is not to the world because the world does not know mm -hmm. the spirit and does not have the spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they say the promises to you. you. Uh, because you know him. Mm -hmm. And guess what? He lives in you. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a beautiful promise mm -hmm. that we have. Mm 
Yes, sir. That God will, 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 will issue all of the resources of heaven mm -hmm. so that we can be all that he has ordained us to be. Mm -hmm. But the first step is that we need to come in alignment with him. You know what that means? That we need to be obedient and responsive, first of all, in his call to salvation for our lives. Mm -hmm. Once that becomes a reality, then God's promise is available to us that we can receive the spirit of power. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the precious promises, for the precious resources that you give to us yes. to be and to do who you're calling us to be and what you're calling us to do. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, as we come to this time of invitation, we pray that you would help us to take spiritual inventory of our lives. If we need to trust Jesus, we pray that today may be the day. If we need to recommit our lives and you and afresh to a personal, closer walk with you, we pray that your Holy Spirit will lead us in that direction. May your name be glorified as we respond to you, as we respond to your call to our lives today. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The Savior is waiting. <clears throat> and I'll be at the front waiting. If you need to make a commitment public to the Lord Jesus Christ today, if you need to trust Him as your personal Savior, if you need to be a part of this family of believers, if you need to really rededicate your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. For those of you who are worshiping with us uh, on uh, television, call the church office. I'd be glad to talk with you to help you in whatever way I can. If I can't reach out to you, I'll find somebody who can to help you to glorify God in the process.
so that others may see how we live, what we do, how we speak, how we respond to situations, and glorify not us, but glorify you. Because it is your power working through us that makes this possible. Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name. Amen.